Hi, I'm Andrew Gillis from Sepro Mineral Systems. This video is a short excerpt from a longer video series about gold recovery for milling circuits. I hope you enjoy it. Bypassing. So this, the summary here is don't create gold traps that are going to bypass the concentrator. So here we have uh, poor practice versus good practice. So what's going to happen here is um, when the concentrator is rinsing and offline, this closes and material is going to head this way. And maybe there's some gold particles in here, but also they're probably getting washed away here. Whereas here, when the bypass, uh, you know, this is closed and the bypass is upstream or like vertically above this elbow, then it's much more likely that heavier gold particles or nuggets are going to collect in this elbow and not get washed away. So then as soon as this opens, all of these particles are going to the concentrator rather than going away. And you know, really when you're doing an initial design, it's, it's just as easy to do either of these. So don't do this, do this and you'll, uh, the circuit will thank you. There's also an aspect here of pump boxes that's important to talk about. So let's say, you know, you've got a pump box that's flat bottom, or maybe it's a bit sloped, but we'll assume flat bottom here. Um, here's your pump going up. Where are we going to put put material entering this pump box? You know, it could be here, here, here. Um, and then there's a lot of different options, you know, especially if it's a, you know, you've got two here and you can put baffles in or whatever, or you could, you know, baffle this. Because what you don't want to have happen is, let's say material, um, let's draw that again. We've got our pump here. You stick material here the outlets here and now you've just you know you've built up a bunch of material here and probably you're going to have a lot of coarse gold settled here so they're going to be very valuable shovels of gold when this eventually has to get cleaned out so also keep this in mind when you're designing piping sumps tanks around the circuit is to either have the um inlet or the feed to the sump you know, obviously you don't want to have it going straight into the outlet, but, you know, baffle the tank properly. So we're not having this buildup, you know, perhaps you could have a baffle in the bottom here. It strikes here, washes down. That would be just fine. But the point being is just keep in mind, you don't want to create areas for nuggets or coarse gold particles to settle out. If you found this video interesting, uh, please visit minerals.seprosystems.com to find the extended video series, as well as additional shorter clips addressing specific points around gold recovery from milling circuits. Thanks very much for watching.